what uh, representative government is all about. And we're thrilled, those of us, the DuPage County legislators that are here, to present to you the budget. And um, Ken Gaffney, who is an expert on the budget, has driven up to make the presentation. And so we're all here to answer your questions. And I'm thrilled to see so many of the faces that we see sometimes in Springfield. So we have three primary concerns. The state commitment to education is becoming a local commitment. Expenses are being passed on to students as what I call an education tax on the user. The reduction in funding impacts all students who have to bear the shortfall to increase tuition, and students with limited resources are increasingly hard hit. Finally, we have a concern about capital. We continue to operate and offer classes in buildings that were designed 40 years ago, and all the building that you see now on the campus has been paid for by everybody in this room. It's been paid for by our local tax base and by our students. There is not a dollar that is being paid by the state for all the building that you see in College of DuPage right now. And that is in spite of the fact that seven years ago, monies were appropriated uh, for our buildings that have never been received. I know that there are many other people, like our here, families, and extended staff who want to see us, see you thrive. And they know that for is a great opportunity for kids to do that. I hope that you and the state of Illinois will continue to support the university's own extension so they can continue to offer excellent programs for the youth of DuPage County. Thank you. Supportive housing works, and we see it every day at DuPage Pads, because everyone needs a place to call home. Supportive housing costs the state less in general revenue funds than prison, jail, or state-operated mental health facilities. These new supportive housing projects in our state will leverage over $30 million in federal funds and at least $600,000 will return to the state in the form of Medicaid reimbursement. So, we can either waste money keeping people homeless or we can spend those dollars on long-term solutions that produce positive results for people and our communities.